In this video, I will show you how to make a gaming logo animation like this. Open After Effects and import all of the stock footages. You can download all of them from link in description. Drag all of the footages to this folder icon and make a folder for these files. Rename it to Footages. Now import your logo and create another folder for it. Now here you can see that it's 8-bit. We need to make it 32-bit. So press Alt from your keyboard and right-click on your mouse and make 32. Create a new composition. I am going with 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel, 30 frame rate per second, duration 10 second, give a name of this comp and hit OK. Now add your logo to timeline and pre-compose it. Don't forget to select move all attributes to the new composition. Select the logo comp and press S from keyboard. Now adjust the size of logo. Go to project and drag reflection image to timeline, pre-compose it. Now double click on reflection comp and open it. Select the image, go to Effects and Presets, apply Motion Tile Effect on it. Set Tile Width 25 and Tile Height 25, drag Tile Center or left side like this. Go to the first frame of composition and create a keyframe on Tile Center. Go to Last Frame and drag Title Center Position to right side. Back to Main Composition, select Reflection Comp, change its Trackmate to Luma Mate. Now select the logo comp, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Turn on the eye, change the blending mode to screen. Now the logo has a cool reflection effect. Rename the logo comp to replace logo. We can replace the logo from this comp anytime. Select all of this composition, right click on your mouse, pre-compose them, select move all attributes to new comp and rename the logo comp. Hide the logo comp for now and create a new solid for background. Drag the BG particle footage to timeline, go to effects and presets, apply Triton effects on it. Now change the midtones color. I am going to use the sky blue color. Apply exposure effect on it. Set the exposure minus to 0.9 to and gamma 0.82. Now drag mesh footage to timeline and change its blending mode to add. Now just follow my steps. Now turn on the logo comp and place it of OBG particle layer. Go to around 3 second and cut the logo layer from left side like this. Forward to 5 second and create keyframe to logo position. Back to 3 second and drag the logo to outside of frame to right side. Now select this keyframe, make it easy ease, go to graph a dish here and drag the graph to left, like this. Drag the lens footage to timeline, change the blending mode to screen, and adjust its position. Select the background layer, go to effects and presets, add noise effect on it. 
Set the nose value 5. Create a new composition for render. Drag and drop the main composition to here. Now import your audio file and create a new folder with audio. Rename it. Open audio folder. Select audio file. Create a composition for audio. Now drag audio file to timeline. Our logo animation is complete. Let's see the preview. Now, it's time to render. Go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, select your format. Select Audio Output on, click OK. Now select your Output folder. After that, turn on Caps Lock from Keyboard, click on the Render button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.